The word says that for a man in Matthew, for a man who's looked at a woman lustfully, he's already committed adultery with her. This, of course, goes the same for women. You know, the Bible is so clear to make sure that if we apply it as it's written, that we're not just putting on a show. This walk is not about an act to the point where Jesus, uh, the Bible often tells us to be earnest. You know, he wants our prayer uh, and our worship in in truth, in spirit and in truth. That's in Holy Spirit, who is the truth. Uh, you know, it's so important that if we have lust in our hearts, that needs to be submitted to the Lord. That's for both men and women. It's not enough just to try of your own accord not to be lustful. You know, it's not enough just to be celibate when you have all this lust in your heart. Um, it's more than temptation because, you know, we're all bound in, in our flesh and temptation is not the sin as it is, but to have a consistent lust in your heart to the point where you kind of look at the opposite sex and you begin to get, you know, unclean thoughts. These things the Lord can really tame until the point of changing that desire in our hearts. One of the most powerful things I've ever experienced in my walk is the ability for the Lord to change a desire within me to literally, you know, he makes us more like him. And it is very possible to, you know, while we are bound to our sin nature, the Lord is in a process of consistently stripping away that which is unclean within us in order to make us more like him. Sometimes it's just a matter of submission, um, even asking for help. So, you know, if, if lust is something that you struggle with, it's very possible that you just need to ask the Lord for help with it because we don't want to be out here um, you know, oh, I can't like, can't look at anyone or, uh, because I'll, I'll get lustful thoughts in my mind or, you know, I can't even, uh, meet people or I'll, I'll, I'll be lusting or, you know, and this goes really for any sin. Uh, we should never be trying of our own accords not to do something. Truly the Lord transforms us so that we don't even desire to do those things anymore. You know, we'll never be completely sinless. Uh, as we're here on this earth in this human form. But again, the Lord is constantly stripping away and, and cleaning uh, what no longer, what is not pleasing to him. You know, that's a great prayer to pray is, Lord, please, um, please search and clean my heart and remove what is not pleasing to you, you know, because we don't know. And sometimes our priorities are not the Lord's priorities. You know, the things that we work on within us, and we feel like, oh, I really got to fix this. Um, Number one, we can't fix it, but he can. But number two, sometimes he is trying to work on other things within us, you know. So make sure that you're always with your mouth, letting him know what you, you know, if you've been convicted of a sin, don't just try to stop doing it because it's in you and the Lord's bringing it to your attention that you need to give it to him because we can do nothing of our own accords. There is no good in our sin nature, but through Christ, we can do all, all things. And his grace truly is sufficient that we can overcome this sin. And to the point where he will actually, he's done it for me and he's no, you know, he doesn't have favorites. He will actually change desires within us. He will change these desires and you'll find, wow, that's not even something I struggle with anymore. Hallelujah. Which is such a a wonderful thing to experience, you know, this this learning process of this walk is, is just that. It's a learning process. It's a walk. It's not a race. You know, no one else is ever our competition because we are our own competition. You know, being bound in this sin nature in a fallen world, trying to walk a narrow path is hard enough. You know, we shouldn't make it harder for ourselves by looking around and comparing, nor should we carry burdens and expect ourselves to overcome things that of our own accords we can never overcome. Don't hold on to the sin. Submit it to the Lord. Ask him, uh, you know, to clean your heart. Ask him for changed desires and he will, you know, give those to you. He's a God of process. I've had times where I've literally woken up the next day and had a change of heart about things. Really miraculous. And I've had other things where it was more of a process. But either way, as long as we are submitting things to the Lord and we're in his process, we continue on our narrow path. God bless you.